In early spring, the hornets and the wasps queens will come out of hibernation and she will start her own uh, nest by starting to build it herself and laying eggs to create workers. So initially, these hornet and wasp nests will be very small until the number of workers increase. So if the nest is very tiny, you could essentially knock it down and then they may attempt to rebuild it. So then you would knock it down a second time. And by then they'll probably give up and move on and go somewhere else. The best time to knock down a hive would most likely be at nighttime when everybody is home. Now, if you're removing a nest, such as this around paper nest, um, the at night time all the hornets and wasps should be inside the nest in early spring when it's cooler but as the nest grows and gets bigger and the weather is warmer you're more likely to see guard bees that are constantly on the outside of the nest guarding and they will do that all day and all night so it makes it much less safe so it you may want to call a um, pest company to come out and help you if it's hornets or wasps. If you could avoid removing bumblebee nests, that would be amazing. Now, I have had people call me to say, I've got this bumblebee nest. It's under my porch, under my deck. And um, when we're sitting there, they fly up through the slats in the deck. So what I suggest that they do is put down a mat or a little carpet so that they redirect how these bumblebees will exit from the deck so that the two of you can get along, that they will now start flying out from maybe a corner of the deck where you're not sitting and you're not, and and bumblebees are very gentle, they're not interested in hurting people. So you can get along, you can you can find a way to make it work. Now honeybees is the easy one. If you have honeybees, you go to Google and you can Google that you have honeybees in a wall or in a shed or wherever they are. And there are beekeepers that will come and they will open up the wall and they will remove those bees and they won't kill them. They'll put them in a hive and take them away, which is the best solution. Um, If it's a swarm, the same thing. There's a photo of a swarm there. You can call a beekeeper and they basically would hold a box up underneath that swarm and shake the bees into it and then basically take them away in a box. Very easy. And beekeepers are always happy to get free bees. Now, if a beekeeper has to open up a wall or something like that with some deconstruction involved, they're going to charge you for that. But you talk about that before the work begins so that you've come to an agreed upon price. Increasingly, there are beekeepers that will also remove Uh, other bees or wasps or hornets that you might have on your property. So when you use Google, you can find out. Here in Ontario, we have lists. Um, I have a list on my website for Ontario, Southern Ontario of beekeepers and what area they're willing to go to and whether or not they'll remove uh, bees from sheds or walls or trees and so on so that you can contact the right person. And I know that increasingly these lists are being made all over the world. So Google is your friend to find out who can help you there. Just remember too that hornets and yellow jackets, wasps, even though we don't love them, they do still serve a role in this world. And so if you can find a way to get them to move on without harming them, that is always the best solution.